This flash webinar is brought to you by Pragmatic Skills, an online training center for software architecture and software development. The single responsibility principle states that there should never be more than one reason for a class to change. Another interpretation is that every object should have one and only one responsibility. So take this example code smell. The document interface has two responsibilities, the printing of the document using the printer and the saving of the document using the file system. Therefore, the object uh, that implements the document interface will have two responsibilities and will have two reasons to change. The negative implication of having two responsibilities is that changing one responsibility may inadvertently affect the other responsibility, thus causing maintainability issues for your code. The open closed principle states that software should be open for extension but closed for modification. In other words, you should write your software so that it could be extended without modifying the existing implementation. In this example code smell, the print method performs the checking of the type of the parameter passed in at runtime and comparing it to two concrete types. It is therefore impossible to extend the implementation of the print method with new types without modifying the code. Runtime type checking is a typical code smell that indicates that the open close principle is violated. The negative implication of not following the open close, close principle is the poor extensibility of your code. The Liskov substitution principle states that methods that take base classes or interfaces should be able to work with derived classes or classes that implement those interfaces. In this code smell, the base image class defines two properties width and height that are mutable and virtual, and then the derived class screen overrides those properties to establish a correlation of the width and the height property of the base class by overriding the setters. This kind of modification of the behavior of the base class changes the, changes the semantics and makes the types behaviorally insubstitutable while still syntactically substitutable. The implication of this design is that it forces the callers to violate the open close principle and thus causes maintainability issues in the caller of this API. The interface segregation principle states that clients should not be forced to depend upon interfaces that they do not use. Another interpretation is that interfaces should not expose the API that the callers do not use. In this code smell, the document interface has a base interface that forces all the classes that implement the document interface to also implement the base printable object interface. An example class that implements a document interface, text document, is thus forced to implement the print method even though it may not be able to print itself. The negative implication of this design is that it pollutes the implementation of the classes that implement the interfaces and also exposes the API to the callers that they may not necessarily need, thus causing potential maintainability issues in your code. The dependency version principle states that high-level modules should not depend upon low-level modules, but both should depend upon abstractions. Another interpretation of this principle is that concrete types should not depend on other concrete types. 
but rather they should both depend on abstract types like interfaces. In this example code smell, the printer concrete class is passed to the constructor of the document concrete class. So the document concrete class has a dependency on another concrete class, the printer. And the negative implication of such design is that it creates tight coupling between the two concrete classes, the document and the printer. Therefore, it is impossible to decouple these two concrete types from each other and introduces the flexibility of the design.